welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Well, well are you hiding here? You know when your DVR starts making weird noises? TiVo, shut up! Anybody reviewing 1981's Raw has to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> The film was conceived by and starred husband and wife Noel Marshall and Tippi Hedren, who you'd think would have had enough of tangling with nature after Hitchcock's The Birds. Okay. And the idea was just to let the many animals involved behave naturally and just work around them. The cat's got a little excited. Yeah, that's all. Oh. This does slow down the action. Oh. And if you're working alongside a hundred untrained big cats, there will be the occasional injury. According to Hedron, between 70 and 100 of the cast and crew were injured, she herself breaking a leg. <laughs> And needing 38 stitches after a lion bitter. Oh, oh my goodness. Cinematographer Jan de Bont, who went on to direct Speed, needed 220 stitches to put his scalp back. He just scalped him. So Jan got 200 stitches in the head. While Melanie Griffith required reconstructive no. surgery and nearly lost an eye. No. She's not saying no, she's saying no, which was the production's safe word to halt filming. No, no! You'll note filming continued. Melanie, come here. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? All you got's a few scratches. All the more horrifying since Marshall and Hedrin were her parents. In fact, all three kids in the movie were their real kids. And do you know what your friends are probably doing to our family right now? They are making dinner of them. Marshall himself sustained so many injuries he developed gangrene. So you've got to love this title at the start. Although some scenes appear to show animals being injured, they were never actually hurt. If only the humans had been as lucky. And the bad luck didn't end there. A flood destroyed sets, equipment and much of the footage and led to several animals, including the hero lion Robbie, being shot. Sooner or later, He's gonna get killed. This was followed by a brush fire and meant that principal photography dragged on for four years. Boy, we got trouble. Raw status as the most dangerous movie ever made is secure, but we can't let that influence the critical analysis. So, was it worth it? And what is that supposed to mean? Naturalist Hank has set up a colony of big cats. That uh, Hank's original idea was a comparative study of the great cats of the world. And is fighting to keep it open in the face of big game hunters. You are not going to kill those cats! You. And people who just think he's nuts. This is madness. Now, by putting together lions from Africa, tigers from Asia, jaguars from South America... Say hello to Henry the Jaguar, would you? Not today. ...and so on, and letting them live alongside humans, the film immediately undermines its back-to-nature premise. This is not valid scientifically or useful ecologically. What are you trying to prove? At the same time, Hank's family are coming to visit for the first time. Hello? Hank? Dad? We're here. But he isn't home when they arrive, so... <laughs> turns into a series of terrifying near misses. Well, if we stay here, we'll end up being eaten alive. Some faked for the camera. Others, not so much. Uh, ah. Ow! <laughs> uh. Until they find a place to sleep. Go on, then, I just have to sleep for a while. And leave the door open. But it's okay, because the next morning... I don't think they're trying to do this at all. And 
when Hank finally arrives back. Oh, isn't this fantastic? Oh. No recriminations, because big cats aren't really dangerous. They're really friendly. Unless you're a hunter. <laughs> I'm fine with hunters being eaten. I'm just not convinced lions make that moral distinction. Do they only eat the bad zebras? Oh, God, look what the cat dragged in. That one cheated on its wife. You simple-minded jerk! So, the heroes are apparently never in any danger. The bad guys are not stopped by the heroes. Plus, the message of the film is wild animals are perfectly harmless, but every moment of it screams the opposite. Go, go. Ah! Or at least adds the caveat, if you don't piss about with them. <laughs> they may just be playing, but you'll still be maimed. Help! It's impossible to separate the story of Raw from the story of its making, and impossible to separate Marshall from the character he's playing. This imbecile who puts his family in real danger for some ridiculous fantasy. You're okay, don't worry. Don't worry, you oh, In a movie, the fantasy can be real, and all it takes is a song to put things right. Here we are at last, here we are in Eden. In real life, it's amazing no one was killed. You could have died, dummy. Shut up, I almost died. Thanks for watching. There's so much more to the story of Raw, and if you'd like to hear us talk about it, then please support us on Patreon. Raw is a movie defined by the story of its making. Are there any other films in which the behind the scenes stuff has overshadowed the film itself? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, I want to go home.